Hey over there, Joe Launchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we've landed right here in Volo, Illinois. Now, our last video you might have seen, we're at the Volo Car Museum. Well, the added attraction to that is the Volo Jurassic Gardens. And since it could be a separate ticket attraction, we want to make it its own video. Animatronic dinosaurs, yes please. We're gonna check this out, we're gonna bring you along with us. If you like this kind of thing, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, comment down below, it's all appreciated. Sending you much love, but I think it's time to do it. Let's do this. Jurassic Gardens, step right up, let's go for this ride. And as soon as we enter the Jurassic Garden area, there's an outer section before we go in the building. We actually have Dino from the Flintstones, a coin-op kid ride, and that sits with this big playground before you actually enter Jurassic Gardens. But to get to this part, you could just have regular entry, but to go in the building, you need a special ticketed entry. T-Rex already trying to eat other guests here. You see it looks like a Jurassic Park car, but it says Jurassic Garden, Volo, Illinois. We have a Brachiosaurus with the sun behind it. Enjoy with T-Rex. Jurassic Garden is a thrilling experience with lifelike dinosaurs. The experience consists of dark spaces, moving dinosaurs, loud noses. And if you're nervous, you could buy earplugs at the gift shop. Oh man, are we in for a treat? There's a little pit for kids to do a fossil, fossil dig. And we have the dinosaur and a little plaque with their name. And they're all animatronic. Do you like being here at Jurassic Garden? Yes, you do. Yes. I know. I know we came here to see you. Does that make you happy? Yes. The question is, do you want to eat me? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yes, you do want to eat me. If you are coming with little children, I think they can handle it, but there are scenes of dinosaurs eating other dinosaurs. We have Kamsag no fist, meaning pretty jaw. Who's got a pretty jaw? Apatosaurus, deceptive lizard. Lumbering through the flatlands, Apatosaurus consumed vast amounts of vegetation. Daily satisfied the need of the immense body size. Well, I don't think it helped him this time. Dilophosaurus. Ooh, you might know him from Jurassic Park. He's the one that opened up his frills and spit on Newman. What's interesting is the frills, the dinosaur really didn't have them. That was created as an effect for Jurassic Park. But now, a lot of places like here use that frilled effect to display this dinosaur. I personally like the frill effect. I know it's not what it really was. We have an abat to a taxi, Velociraptors. Attacking this iguanodon. Hey, buddy, get off the iguanodon. That's my dino. What does he look like? An Uber? No free rides. Even the trash cans are themed to be dinosaurs. Gallimidmius, which translates to as a chicken imitator. Do you imitate a chicken? Give us your best chicken imitation. Very good chicken imitation. An Allosaurus. It's, it's funny, his name means different lizard. He is a different lizard. An Oviraptor. Known as the, the Oviraptor actually translates to egg robber. It was used to be thought that it was stealing eggs for food, but then they learned the fossil was actually guarding its own eggs. Those are little baby oviraptors. The bathrooms are guarded by the giant teeth of dinosaurs. I like this Wurosaurus. I thought it was a Stegosaurus. You see, he's actually trying to knock down the tree. He was related to the Stegosaurus. I figured he was related to the Stegosaurus, but he's not. 
you can see the ridges on his back are weird squares, not like what the Stegosaurus looks like. And a partial fossil sky was actually found in China under the Triceratops skull, and there is more. Oh, we, we have a video about digging up dinosaurs, some skull replica fossils. Wow, that is interesting. The country with the most dinosaurs. It's China and America have the most. Just think, some Jurassic fossils were actually found in Antarctica, and same with the crustaceous. America has dinosaurs and footprints from all three periods. Right now we are in the dino lab. We have some fossils of eggs. And they're actually trying to grow live new dinosaurs in these incubator. We actually see a baby hatching from its egg right now. Ooh, a velociraptor skeleton, meaning swift thief. Don't worry, we're safe. This dinosaur is behind a high voltage electric fence of 10,000 volts. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> hey, buddy, can you, can you be quiet? You're irritating me. Thank you. That's because... I, I told you to be quiet. Can you please be quiet? I'm trying to show them your name. People at home are curious what your name is. He's the irritator. We have a pterodon. Just so all of you kids know at home, his name does start with a P, but the P is silent. His name's not the pterodon. Or the pterodactyl. Yeah. And those don't look like his babies. We actually have my stegosaurus, the reef lizard. You see how on top of the stegosaurus, his armor looks more like triangles. The thing I thought was the stegosaurus had those rectangle armor on top. When you're walking here, be careful. He might swing his tail at you. The three-horned face. We have a mommy and a baby triceratops here. They're just trying to enjoy the day here at Jurassic Garden. But they have this guy, a Carnotosaurus, staring them down. They are not your lunch. No, you can't eat just the baby. The mom would be very upset. For the youngins, they have the Brontosaurus Tower that has telescopes for the kids to look at all the dinosaurs. And for the adults, this is a dinosaur bench to take a break on. You can hang out with this giant pterosaur. It's so awesome. We get to walk through a dinosaur's rib cage as we're passing another Velociraptor. This one looks like blue from Jurassic Park. You see the coloring? Blue, is that you? Joy, I don't want you to be concerned, but it looks like they surrounded us. Giant Spinosaurus. I think it's funny, through the years, scientists have been arguing, does he walk upright? Does he walk hunched? Did he walk on all four? Different way the bones been, fossils been positioned to figure out how he walked. From the front, it might look like a Triceratops, but it's a Styrocosaurus. You see the top has more than just the two horns. I love how they sort of have little beaks, like parrots. And this guy, if I was a dinosaur, I would be an Ankylosaurus, which means fused reptile. I like him. Short, stocky, strong. Looks like he don't take any garbage from anybody. Yeah! I'm a dinosaur! It is cool with just a square building, drop ceiling, but how they did the walls, put the plant life, made the pathway through, sound effects, 
animatronics, really created a fun environment. It's a good dinosaur park, I feel, for kids. A Ceratorus. Oh. And here we also have two more mold machines. These aren't called Moldoramas. They're not branded that. These are Moldvilles. Now you can operate Moldvilles. It looks like we're going to get what I call a Brontosaurus. We're going to get two more dinos. Magically made while you watch. Getting a T-Rex. I see it. It's magically happening as I watch. Magic's happening. I love watching all the gears and numbers go. Enjoy just getting our Brontosaurus going. You see the gears showing the pressure. Inserting the plastic. And then we have cold water coming through these hoses, cooling it as it's being inserted, and then air blowing into these holes. He's got no head. And just like that, magically, he is back. Attention to customer service like that, I really appreciate. Yes. The fact that they have the mold machines, but sometimes they mess up, it happens. But they have good ones made, so we just went to the shop and switched it. I like it, I appreciate that. Joe, are you feeling a little raptor-ish? Why? Because if you are, here at Jurassic Garden, you can go into the Raptor Pen Arcade to win prizes. Looks like we have lots and lots of claw machines and galaxy ducks. I'm trying to see if I could win Joy one of these camo rabbits. He looks like he might be tucked, but we might be able to pull him out by his head and drop him in. Uh -oh. oh. Cause I'm a big kid, I'm gonna play the upper level, but if you had little ones, little ducks, there's this Tootsie Roll duck I really like. I love some of these food ducks. The sugar like the daddy. Tootsie Pop sugar daddy. The dots. Lucky Charms. The white one with the dots is Blow Pop. And the Andes is the green one. I know the problem. I'm playing in the Raptor pen and I'm not a Raptor. And the very last dinosaur, of course, we come to is the king of the tyrant lizards, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. I would say he was the king of the jungle before lions were around. And we get to exit through the gift shop. And for the young ones, or for the big ones, you actually could do some gemstone and fossil panning. You could go to the gift shop and they have different size bags and you can get different fossils like you see the B&B bag has some fossils and gemstones and shark teeth T-Rex Jurassic Garden T-Rex? Yeah Cranking, cranking, cranking Oh, I think it just throws it on the floor We got it though Crush Penny, souvenir achieved. We're as exiting to the gift shop. Joy is looking at some sticker stuff, but think this one the greatest mugs ever. T-Rex, he's unstoppable. He has those arm extender things. We're not allowed to enter, but I'm gonna take a preview. It's getting bigger and better. They're adding a dinosaur mini golf here, which looks so cute. And I also am loving this weird dinosaur Monster truck eating a car engine? I don't know what this guy is going to be, but it's going to be cool. Buddy, be quiet. He was talking up there. So, we came, we saw... Buddy, 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to film an exit video. You, he's so loud up there. So we saw the dinosaurs here at Jurassic Gardens. They were awesome. That is a fun exhibit. Animatronic dinosaurs. I know, I know. Fun facts, Moldoramas. Mm -hmm. Can't beat it. Thank you for coming. I think we can call it. I think so. Jurassic Garden. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels and live life. I'm being eaten by a T Rex. No. Oh, you want to say goodbye too? Okay. All right, say bye. Say bye. You can say it. Yeah. Don't tell me he's not really. You see, Brontosaurus right on there. My favorite dinosaur growing up, the Brontosaurus. Now I have a Moldorama of a Brontosaurus. No one's gonna tell me you're not real. I believe in you.